Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video I'm going to show you how to enable the new Copilot AI Assistant inside Windows 11, the build 23493. So as a disclaimer, this will only work on this build, the latest build from the Div channel. And this is also limited to some geographical regions. So it is not 100% that this will work for you, but I think for 99% of you this should work. And in this video I'm going to show you how to enable that. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with this video. First of all, as always, when we enable hidden features like these, we're going to need to have Vive tool set up on your computer. So just go ahead and download Vive tool from the article below in the video's description, and then just download the latest version .zip. You can open the archive using File Explorer and then click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32, select it, click on Select Folder, Extract, and then replace the files in the disk destination, continue, and this is how you set up Vive tool on your computer, as easy as that. Now after you set up Vive tool, make sure you open up the CMD from the search box and then click on run as administrator, and on user account control, of course, click on yes. Here in the CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste in a few commands that were discovered by Rafael Rivera on Twitter, so a huge shout out to him. You're going to have his Twitter profile in the pinned comment below, and make sure to follow him because he does a great job by analyzing and discovering different hidden features inside Windows 11. So you need all these IDs as a first step to enable Windows Copilot AI Assistant, just paste them inside the CMD one by one and after you run each command, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And after you run all the commands, you can simply exit out from the CMD and make sure you restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, you need to also make sure that Microsoft Edge is up to date because Windows Copilot AI Assistant is based on the Bing search engine and also Microsoft Edge. So just go into the Microsoft Store, then Library in the left hand side and make sure you click on Get Updates and Update all so that also Microsoft Edge is up to date. And after you do all this, you should notice a new icon inside your taskbar, which is the Windows Copilot icon and with the preview icon applied to it. And also if you right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings, you should notice that on taskbar items show or hide buttons that appear on the taskbar, you can enable or disable Copilot preview by turning it on or off and it will be displayed on your taskbar. Now this is the first preview of the Windows Copilot. So right now it is limited to a few questions that are related to the Windows operating system. But if you click on it, you should get this nice little animation. And then you should notice here Windows Copilot with Bing Chat. You also have here more options where you can go into settings and you have let Copilot use content from Microsoft Edge. You can turn this on or off. But of course, as it is a first preview, there are also a few things that should not appear. For example, if you right click on it, you get the inspect element function inside the Microsoft Edge. And I think that's not how it's supposed to run. Of course, as a first preview, this is pretty decent in my opinion. Microsoft is stating that Windows Copilot is ready to run commands such as change to dark mode, for example, if I'm going to type in here change to dark mode inside my operating system and then press enter, it takes a while searching for the right action. And then as you can see, switching color mode. And also it is asking me again, turn on dark mode. Yes. And I have to make sure that I want it. And now dark mode is on. Of course, I already had dark mode on, but I think this is pretty interesting. Another interesting thing is that you can take a screenshot. Just type in here, take a screenshot, press enter, and this will automatically open the snipping tool and will allow you to take a screenshot. It takes a few seconds, five to 10 seconds from what I can see. We're waiting and as you can see, successfully opened up the snipping tool app and it allowed us to take a screenshot. And you can also, of course, do certain AI things like make me a picture of a lion, for example, press enter. I mistyped that a bit. Let's see if it understands what I meant. As you can see, the image is now generating and let's see the final result. As I saw also on Twitter and in other creators, all of them are complaining that this is pretty slow and yes, it is, but hopefully that won't be the case after a few previews that we get. And as you can see, we're getting some nice images here generated by AI and that's pretty nice. As you can see, made by Bing Image Creator. So of course, if you enable this, if you Feel free to check it out, test it out, see the limits of it. I think this is a good idea, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of integrating internet stuff more and more inside the Windows operating system. But of course, hopefully Microsoft will listen to feedback and will improve this to get a final version of it that will be likable by most users. So as I've said, to enable the Windows Copilot inside the build 23493, the latest build from the dev channel, you're going to need to set a Vive tool on your computer, run all the commands and IDs 
that were provided and found by Rafael Rivera on Twitter. And of course, make sure you have Microsoft Edge up to date. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Bozimani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.